Since we're talking about tape measures, I might as well give you maybe a tip or two. Okay, and this tape measure here, on all tape measures, by the way, if you want, if you want to push it right up against the wall and get a measurement, or if you want to pull it and get a measurement, how does it stay the same? You would think if I pull on this, it would be a sixteenth or thirty-second of an inch too long. Well, the end of this has just a little bit of play, so it pushes out that way when you're pulling the unset, and if you push up against something, it pushes in. So you get the right measurement. So every once in a while, I always kind of check my end to make sure it hasn't loosened up. If this cracks or something, maybe maybe this is looser than normal. So I'll go I'll go get a new tape measure if that happens, or if I try to bend that. Because let me tell you, when you're measuring intricate measurements, you want to make sure you get to the sixteenth. And if you're relying on this little hook right here, you want to make sure it's working right. Now here's another thing too. This is a 30 foot long tape measure and years ago they only used to have 25 footers. I always, I always used 25 footers. When they came out to 30s I didn't want to use that. I didn't think, ah, I don't, I'm not going to need that very often any more than a 25 footer. You know what I mean? But the good thing about a 30 foot um, tape measure is the actual tape is a little bit thicker and and stiffer okay so that means um, I can pull it out further like this before it kinks over like that all right so when you when you go to look for tape measures try to get the fatter one if you use a tape measure a lot now granted you know that's for measuring long things if you're only measuring small little things all the time I would recommend getting a smaller tape measure thickness you know maybe go with the 20 footer or the 25 footer with the small thickness of tape and, and, and you might look for 25 footers uh, maybe they have a thicker tape than a smaller tape for the same length you know what I mean just check those types of things out and on this tape measure here I've also got a lock on it and I just push down on it like that that way if I'm measuring something on the floor let's say and I want to pull it and, and stop it I like that little stop there okay now because I've got a Sears tape measure, Craftsman, if this lock ever gets loose, and let's say I don't want to go to the store right away, I just put a little screwdriver right in there and, and, and push it in there and that'll hold that while I'm measuring something on the, on the floor. And then later on, I'll go and replace my tape measure with the lock. Okay? Just a few things to know when it comes to tape measures.